um, Vince made a call because he wanted to, this is so random, he was calling them to talk about Glam for Essence Festival. Okay. <laughs> really? <laughs> really. Uh-huh. And literally, this this is verbatim what he told me. Uh-huh. She was like, oh, I've been meaning to call you. Oh. No, so, really. Yeah. So the, Wow. And then went into, well, you know, we're not going to have her back, you know, for the panel or whatever. And I was actually in my glam room. And then when I came downstairs, I saw this look on Vince's face. It just, he just looked like distraught and confused. Uh-huh. And I thought something happened, you know, to some, yeah. somebody in my family. Like, what's you wrong? What's go- yeah. yeah. What's going what's on? Happening? And he was just like... I think you got fired, I think. <laughs> I'm like, what you talking about? <laughs> right. Think, fired for think. what? Uh-huh. <laughs> fired for what? <laughs> no, really. He was like the real. And, and really, honestly, my heart sunk <clears throat> into my shoes, really. Aww. Like, I, I like pretty much fell over, to be honest. you were happy there. You I was excited. Job. I yeah. loved going to work. Uh-huh. You know, I'm just like everybody else. I love driving to my driving myself to work. Mm-hmm. I would work out in the morning, go straight to the set and be mm-hmm. there to shoot mm-hmm. two or three shows and, you know, come home and, you know, shoot a scene or two for the Braxton's or Tamar events mm-hmm. or record a record and, you know, go to bed at 11 there, and wake up at 5. Yeah. Tamar, yes. have there been any controversy leading up to this that would make you think even for a moment that something was wrong. God, no. You know, when you love your job, it's no issues. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You're not complaining about much. You know, you're not, you know, fighting with anybody. Me and the girls got along, so I thought. And, you know, um, we've been on hiatus for about three weeks. Mm -hmm. And so for this to come out of the blue is just astonishing, to be honest. So let me ask you this. You say, you just said something there. You said... Uh, you and the girls got along, so no. you thought. Yeah. What, do, do, now, has has anyone given you or Vince a reason for for the firing? No, to be honest. What? I, I wish I knew. I wish I could sit here and tell you that, um, you know, it was negotiation issues. Yeah. No, because yeah. that wasn't negotiation. Yeah. You wanted more money. They no, wanted that wasn't like the that. case. You I didn't get I along could, with the panel. I wish I could tell you that. I wish I could tell you that, you know, um, it was a headache on set. Mm -hmm. It wasn't, you know, um, I really honestly don't know. And I feel like that is what is bothering me to this Mm -hmm. day. Because, Mm -hmm. you know, sometimes, you know, um, when you don't see yourself or see what's wrong, you can't fix it. Mm -hmm. And so if somebody just tell you, we just don't like you. So is it a personality thing? Mm -hmm. Is it just me? Mm -hmm. You know, Mm -hmm. how do you fix yourself? Yeah. Right. That's the thing. Because, you know, I, in life, I feel like you have to evolve. And how do I evolve from this? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think the average person who hears this getting fired, uh, folks who have jobs, they can't wrap their mind around it, that, that there isn't a reason given. In television, they don't have to give you a reason. Right. They, don't. they can say something as simple as, we're moving in a new direction. Mm-hmm. Or they just don't have to say anything. Mm-hmm. Television is a very unsafe business. It's like playing pro football. Mm-hmm. You know, if you're not on the team, you're not getting paid. Here's 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 a here's here's a situation. So for all of you out there that say, "Well, how you get fired? It ain't no reason." Uh, they really don't give you a reason, and uh, Hollywood is filled with a lot of coward upper level people mm-hmm. <clears throat> oh. who just sit in a room okay. and, and oh, make a decision. Okay, Tamar. Oh, real. <laughs> you real? You hear the nerve? Nobody is gonna come out to be the heavy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They just they they make a decision. They go yes, well that's right. Well, who's gonna tell it? And then the one person that Vince calls and talks to. Oh, I meant to call. That Kyle is crazy. Was. That is. And crazy. that's it. Hang up and click. Ain't no getting them back on the phone. Have has so you all may have reached out to get a reason and haven't been given one. I know I didn't reach out. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure Vince did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, you he's know, one of the producers. This is, yes, he was. And yeah. this is a Saturday, so my agent didn't know. My lawyer didn't know. And so I'm pretty sure um, they reached out by now. But nothing has come back to me, mm-hmm. you know. Um, and I just want to say, 
I mean, getting fired or, you know, being let go from a situation does not mean that, you know, you're, you, you shouldn't value your worth because I do. I mean, no, I don't see myself as a celebrity, but do I see myself as a superstar? I do. Mm -hmm. Do you understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. um, I just feel like, um, I'm just not going to allow anybody to, um, dim my star or dim the way that I see me because it took it took me a long time to you know um see myself as you know see myself or take myself for who I am does mm -hmm. that make sense mm -hmm. yeah it does. and so you know I can't let this one situation you know make me um lose my self-esteem or mm -hmm. not um see myself as being who I am and um mm -hmm. the direction that I want to go in my life this is not a setback this is a setup and so I feel like if you don't look at things like this as a blessing, it won't be a blessing. That's right. Mm -hmm. So um, I definitely feel like it is. And I feel like um, from here, um, it's onward and upward. Mm -hmm. And I have to keep telling myself. And I want to tell the listeners that you have to keep telling yourself. You have to speak positivity over your life. Mm -hmm. And when things like this happen, you have to speak positivity over your life even more. Or, you know, you'll find yourself in a depression or you're, or you're you keep looking at yourself or try to make things, you know, wrong. And it's not, it's nothing that you have done. And mm -hmm. I don't feel like there's anything that I have done or I would go back and do over again. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but I just have to tell everybody that um, I just I just don't feel like I'm the same person that has been through things like this mm -hmm. in life and in in this situation you have to be positive and you have to move forward push yourself and move forward well you certainly exemplify that yeah. this morning I mean you came in looking like the superstar that you are oh, a fabulous you have a beautiful smile on your face thanks. and I can tell you are looking forward to the future oh absolutely yeah. you know I don't feel like my future is not bright mm -hmm. I feel like it's brighter than ever mm -hmm. you know sometimes and you know I was telling my sisters this that you know um, we all have that feeling inside of us when it's time to you know leap and mm -hmm. jump and when you don't God will oh, he'll push you, you over yeah. the edge yes, he, will. <laughs> he will do it for you and you know sometimes it's un unexpected and when it's unexpected that's when you that's when you're hurting mm -hmm. you know what I mean and yeah. I don't I don't see that as this as anything negative I see it as everything positive and I just feel like God is moving in my life more than ever you know um, because now I have to really depend and trust him Amen. Yeah. Amen. You know, Amen. Tamar, the, most Amen. people Amen. don't understand that you 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 cannot be defined by your defeats. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You just can't. And to hear you talk like this, mm -hmm. that it was a positive thing, that it happened, it was good for you, that sometimes, you know, God needs your attention. So instead of you jumping off the cliff, you get pushed off the cliff. It's the same thing. You're yeah. in the air. Yeah. <laughs> same thing. Yeah, yeah. Trust and believe. You didn't want to be in the air, but usually you don't want to go off the cliff. No right. one really wants to. But in this in this attitude that you have is where your greatness lies. And I think that you coming on the radio and being honest about it. Now, the beauty of what you're doing, though, is you ain't coming on here blaming nobody. You ain't coming on in here angry. No. The old mad sister neck snapping. I'm going <laughs> to show you. They going to see. They going to see. You know how many people are sitting in that executive office who, l let me tell y'all how TV works. This ain't, this ain't Tamar talking. Let me tell y'all how TV works. This going to cost somebody their job. <clears throat> This is going to cost someone their job. Because let me show you how this works, man. Hollywood operates off embarrassment. She gonna land on her feet. Mm -hmm. And when she land on her feet and when she go become bigger and better, mm -hmm. the our eyes gonna turn on the who thought it was a good idea to get rid of her in the first place. It happens in Hollywood every day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Someone will lose their job behind this. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you this how this works. It's so wonderful that you had your sisters, your family, oh, yeah, for yeah. your support, too. Oh, sure. My husband as well. I mean, I can't count him out, you know. Yeah. I, I feel like he, just as devastated as I was, he was more devastated. Mm -hmm. And, what you is, know, yeah, he has my back mm -hmm. 
He's just the greatest ever. Am I the only one? Don't nobody want to vote nobody ass? <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting on that. I've been waiting on that. My Tamar's just like, I'm the only one standing in the fight. Yeah, it's Saturday. I want to say the line will be Tamar. Hey, uh, Tamar, sit with us. Yeah. Sit with us a little bit this morning. Sure. We're enjoying talking to her. We got Tamar Braxton, everybody. Don't Stay with us. With uh, us. Uh, we may have another great guest coming up just shortly, but. Well, Tamar, stick around a little bit, girl. We'll talk a little shop with you right, right now. And we love your smile. <laughs> You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. 